Yo, what's up, Tarnish? It's your boy, and we back with another video, bro. In today's video, we're going to be talking about Clover Attribution tier list. So make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, bro. Join the family. We're on the road to 30k subscribers. And let's get straight into this. And don't forget to turn on the post notification bell so you never miss out on any live videos. So let's make this tier list, this race tier list. I know a lot of y'all been waiting for this. I haven't made an updated tier list in a grip, so... So first and foremost, we're gonna go human. Human is like, you know, we already know human is dirt, dirt, beast, dirt, orc, dirt, hybrid elf, dirt. I ain't gonna lie, I'm only putting these, like, I'm making sure, I'm just making sure y'all know, like, these are dead dirt. Just dirt, like dirt, I ain't gonna lie to you, dirt. Like, dark elf, I'll put it at C only because, like, bro, it has potential. If like if you're using a certain build, besides that, it's only bro. Is you can only run one thing with dark elf, which is fire. So that horrible, horrible. Um, vampire, werewolf. Where do I put these? I can put them at B. They're not crazy good, but they're all right. You know, they're a B for me. Dryad is also a B for me. The healing and stuff. Um, I think this is like a lesser version of a vampire as well. I'll put it below Dark Elf. It's not that great. <laughs> it's not that crazy. Primordial Human. Primordial Human is not that crazy to me. But I'll put them above Vampire, Werewolf, and Dryad. <laughs> Y'all can disagree with me in the comments. Alright, but my nose is like a little stuffy. Let me see dwarf. I put dwarf at C only because you know with the crafting situation it really does come in handy. High orc can be an A. High orc is really good, especially if you're running a Pacific build for it. Human. Dog water. Um, ancient wolf vampire. What was this? Stonekin. Stonekin is not bad as well. I'll put it over here. It, it could be good. Gorgon. The Gorgon race. I've never, I've never used it, so I'm gonna put it like below Dryad. I've never used it though. Lycan, Lycan is um, garbage from what I've heard as well. So we're gonna put it right over here. Um, vampire fledgling, just dirt, dirt as well. Let me see. This is high elf, high elf. We can put. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna put that over there. We can put high elf above these. And primordial human over that. I might be bugging with primordial human. I think primordial human should be above high arc at least. Um, Lutherian. Lutherian is not bad. I'll for sure put it above everything in B. So it sits right here. Let me see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Mm, it's a healing race. Healing races are not bad. I don't see them very much for PvP. So anything on the A tier, like this race will be dead last on this list because it's really just for healers and, you know, mana and stuff. But if you want to go like a mana build, you can always go Starborn yeah, or like Mahari or um, there's a lot of races. You can go Vampire as well. Vampire is really good. Solian is good. Um, what else? High Elf is good as well. I don't know why I'm saying. Y'all probably know this already. Y'all probably know this already. Dread Scale. Dread Scale is one of the better ones. I like Dread Scale. I think Dread Scale is an S tier, personally. Especially with the stun move and like how broken it is. Especially with the armor. You know, the armor starts to glow if you have Dread Scale. So, it is the best. It's like, it's one of the better, like, combos. Um, Kenthori. Kenthori can go up here. It's not... Kenthori and Lenthori. So Kenthori, put it up here. It's better than um, Lenthori. Uh, let me see. Damn, which one are we going to do for the legendaries? 12 legendaries on the line right now. And what's the best legendary? Now, I know everybody came here for this specifically. Nobody really cares about anything else. Now, Dread Scale is already up here. Mahari. Mahari adaptability is still one of the most broken things in the game. So that's above... That's above Dread Scout. 
Rayum and Slashes. Rayum and Slashes is cool and all, but that's below Dread Scale. Like the healing and everything is cool, but you know, if somebody uses Dread Scale stun and you know all that healing doesn't really matter. So I put that above that. So fine could go below so Finette could go below um Rayuman. Nogitsun also it's to spawn like um corrupted, have a higher chance to spawn corrupted and stuff like that. And the stats are pretty mid. So I'll put it below Sophonet. Because you know you can heal mid combat with this and it gives pretty mon uh decent mana stats. So I'll put that above that. Sitsun. I don't even know. I wouldn't even you know what? I honestly wouldn't even put these up here. I'll put these two legendaries like down here with the with that with the other legendary. I don't think it's up here in the S tier. Whew, mad sick, bro. Alright, so now we got Solian. Solian, the Solian race, yes. I put it above my heart. Hate me, dislike me. Bro, let me know in the comments up below how I feel about me putting that above my hurry. Let me know. Because personally, I think it's above my hurry. Um, Starborn. Starborn can be really broken, bro. I put that above my hurry, too, because my hurry adaptability is cool. But, like, these two, bro, when it comes to damage, output, Jesus Christ. Whew. Let me tell you something, boy. Let me tell you something. Um, Legendary Kinthari. Legendary Kinthari. It can be disgusting. It can be bad, uh, really difficult. Yeah, I don't know. I, it's below my hurry, but like between Dread Scale and Legend of Kithari, they both really good. They're both really good. I'll say they're like damn near equal. Um, Ancient Werewolf and Vampire. Where does this fit on the tier list that we have here? Now, I know a lot of us was waiting for this. So now let's go ahead and look at exactly what the werewolf stats are so with the where oh, with the elder vampire i mean <coughs> with the elder vampire ooh, you get 20 intelligence 10 dex 20 con five percent more hp you get one speed could have sworn this was two but you get one speed 10 uh 10 percent magic damage regeneration regenerates 2.5% of your um, HP every 5 seconds. Immune to poison conditions. 15% more mana and mana regen alongside a flat mana regen. 3 flat mana regen. Takes double damage from ancient werewolves. Can get transformation after consuming 25 pure, um, pure vampire bloods. After which you can affect people and grow stronger once... They transform into a vampire or a vampire fledgling. Um, it's a lot. I ain't gonna lie. It's a lot. I didn't even know. I actually didn't even know that it regenerated your um, it, it regenerated your thing so damn um well. Honestly, I put it above. I put it above these four. These four. The only reason why I'm putting it above these four, cause honestly, bro, Solian will still give um Elder Vampire a run for its money. Don't get it twisted. My hurry too, and Starborn. Don't don't get it twisted for sure. And now, even with the Mana Region, which is the only thing that really caught my attention personally, um, Ancient Werewolf. Ancient Werewolf. You get 15% strength, 15 Dex. Uh, 30 con, 15 more HP, 15% more HP, poison immunity, weakened immunity, regeneration, blah, 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 to speed. Wolf don't really have anything going for it. I'm not going to lie lie to you. So honestly, bro, besides you being able to do more damage to vampires, I'll dead put you dead last on this list. Actually, nah, I'll put you above. I'll put werewolves above Rayuman only because, bro. Werewolf is not, yeah, I ain't gonna cap. Vampire is better than werewolves. It's it's the, it's just the, it's the just the honest truth. I can't really, I can't really be mad at me. I didn't make the stats for this. Now I think that werewolves should have had more. Vampires also do have a poison effect that werewolves are immune to. And damn, bro, I don't know, I don't know. It's, it's looking tough. And the only way that you can even damage vampires 
um, it would double the damage is whenever you turn into a werewolf. So werewolves are really butt cheeks. I ain't gonna cap butt cheeks. It's really mid. I mean, you can change, you can stay in your transformation longer than a vampire can, but it's just mid, bro. It's really mid. Uh, vampires are better. Let me know in the comments down below how you feel about this tier list. I'll be catching y'all in the next video. Brush your heads. Take care. Catch y'all in the next one. Eek is out.